prototype testing can be very frustrating. Here at New Haven Display, we want to make beginner interfacing with our displays as easy as possible. By the end of this video, you should be able to locate, download, and upload the appropriate code for prototyping your display. Begin by going to the menu option for engineering resources and select example code. Here you can browse all the available code organized by display type. Search for the display part number that appropriately matches your display. If you're seeking more options, select GitHub to open our GitHub profile. GitHub is a software development website that allows users to identify and use source codes fitting their applications. Here, many different example codes are provided to test and adjust, allowing you to see how the display performs. In Find a Repository, search the display part number for available code. Today, we'll be setting up our 4x20 Slim Character OLED. This code was written by New Haven Display's engineering team for external use to allow customers to test their displays. Click to open the repository. Continue clicking selections until the code file opens. Next, select all and copy the code. This code can be downloaded or copied into your IDE application and is able to then upload and run after proper pinout connection is achieved. Open the Arduino IDE and paste the copied code into the program. Under Tools, verify that the correct Arduino board and port are selected for uploading. Next, upload the program to Arduino. This may take a few seconds. And now let's take a look at the finished product. Now that we know the display is running properly, let's go back into the code and make some custom changes. This example code explicitly calls characters from US2066IC built-in font table, which can be very tedious for long messages. A text string can be used to avoid this and allows the coder to write the message. To start things off, we want to write, congratulations. Begin by creating a character constant which we will reference as text1. Then we want to type, congratulations. Next, let's form a new function which we will call string message. We will call this during the setup after the start message function is performed. We need to tell the controller where to write the string, and this can be done by writing command hex80. Next, we need a for statement. In this statement, we need to call the string through the data function. To end the function statement, close with a bracket. The last step is to comment out the void loop function ensuring the loop isn't called after our setup. Now it's time to re-upload and see the result. Now we're going to add three additional text strings by repeating those steps. We'll speed through this since we've already walked you through it. Finish by re-uploading and that's it. Congratulations, you've successfully coded our 4x20 Slim OLED.